Let's talk about money now, shall we? Sure. You nervous about this? No, I have some money. Do you need some? <laughs> I always need some. <laughs> money fights, money confusion, money differences. It's all very complicated, but it all surrounds money. Right. Saving enough, not being prepared for retirement, it's an ongoing problem. So Scott and Bethany, our money couple, are here to tell yes. us what we're doing wrong, how to really get a hold of this. Absolutely. Okay. Well, here's the thing. Money decisions, all money decisions, whether it's big or small, are just complicated. Yes. And one of the things that no one's ever done is done the research and figured out why are money decisions so complicated? Because you don't have it and you well, want to spend it. There, that's part of it. But let's dive in. I can tell you're confused already. Okay. Great. She's not there's, in charge of the money. No, exactly. No. There we go. Well, there's actually four drivers to every money decision that you make. Okay. All right. So the first driver is all money decisions are part personal okay. all right so there's a personal let me explain what i mean by that by personal i mean how you were raised whether or not you think a money decision is right or wrong mm -hmm. is a personal perspective it could be very different mine could be very different than yours right so like i have a friend and she gives gifts all the time like whenever she sees a person who mm -hmm. she's going out to coffee with or whatever she gives a gift she goes to a party she gives oh, how gifts. nice she's very nice yeah. Yeah. sounds like me I was gonna say, that. I know. is it me it's, it's me hey, in disguise okay. okay but here's the thing she does it because her parents did not give gifts uh, so she kind of rebelled against it. it yeah exactly exactly maybe so, because personal. you were just Jehovah Witness, you didn't really get gifts, so maybe that is why. Right, you I'm making one. up for lost time. There you By go. the way, we have some things for you. <laughs> okay, great. Right, let me um, get yeah. that for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, money decisions are part personal. All right. Second, money decisions are part emotional. All right. Okay. So let me give you an example. Okay. Last week for me was a really hard week. I just had a really rough week for lots of reasons. On Saturday, I went out to go do some errands, but I happened to kind of drift off to the store and bought some clothes that I've been wanting. I it's just about time because he's the spender, feel, not you. It made me no, feel better. She's a much better spender than yes, I am. Yes, exactly. For the but it was emotional. <laughs> right. I made an emotional decision and I emotionally spent. So money decisions are part emotional. Okay, third one is factual. <laughs> some of our money decisions, not all of them, but some of them are based on the facts. Do right. I have the money or do I not have the money? Right. Do I save, do I not save? Do right. I have enough for retirement or do I not have enough for retirement? Part of the drivers have to be factual okay. in, in what we're looking at. And that's important for some of us. I'm more of a factual spender than my amazing wife. Yeah. <laughs> so um, she, she's her, yeah. yeah, a little higher on the emotional spending. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yes. <laughs> so right. I don't want to get hung up on that one. All right, part but factual. Four. Number four <laughs> is internal. <Moving> on. <laughs> we'll skip right past the factual one. Um, internal. So mm -hmm. our money decisions are part of who we are. Right. Some of us love to spend, some of us don't love to spend. Some of us are really great at saving. Some of us are terrible at spending. Some of mm -hmm. us like to take risks with our money. Other of us don't like to take mm -hmm. risks. But the reality is, is that we've got this internal mechanism that also totally dictates how we're going to spend our money. Okay, so, so how do you control it? For, so one of the things is to start by just understanding it. And we put together for all the viewers a money decision equation calculator. Okay. So you know, because like mine's more emotional, Scott's more factual. So you know exactly what your actual rate is in terms of percentages and it helps you in terms of in your relationship uh -huh. understanding he understands that i'm more right. emotional i understand he's more factual right so that helps in our communication as well that's okay. awesome yeah but you Thank still you. spend the money yes okay Bethany is God. they have the money decision uh, equation calculator yes go to themoneycouple.com themoneycouple.com is where you can find them and for all of our viewers on their website i gotta tell you click on the everyday viewer tab yeah. you'll get access but these guys will help you get your money right so you're not fighting about the money mm -hmm. you're just working together to make money and keep money you got thank it. you guys so That's much awesome. did you learn anything today uh, yes I did I learned that you could be a couple and still get along about money <laughs> there you go, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> thank you money couple we love you